uh, chairman of the Berwick Planning Board. I'm a longtime resident. I'm also a longtime uh, real estate agent specializing in Berwick, about 11 years now. Um, so I wanted to talk today about a couple of things. One is impact fees. So I see a lot of people talking about not wanting development, not wanting resident, more residences in Berwick. Unfortunately, that's not something that's going to happen. So one thing that I was pretty outspoken about uh, in 2017 was adding impact fees to our um, anybody that's building anything new in the town. And we were able to get that done with the selectman and John Stoll, who was our town planner at the time. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, I'm sure that Terry is going to put up the impact fee uh, schedule thing right here because I couldn't, for whatever reason, get that in front of me today. So that'll show you exactly what the impact fees are. Um, but what I want to talk about is that the fees are set by the selectman and 50% of the fees go to open space and 50% of the fees go to the recreation. It was the community's desire to have 13 acres of open space for every 1,000 residents. And the last time I checked, I think we're at about 86 to 8,800 residents in Berwick right now. And um, the community also wants a community center. So the impact fees were unanimously adopted in 2017. I asked James, um, who is now our town manager, for some hard, concrete examples of what these impact fees would be used for. So um, open space is for the purchase of land for the purposes of conservation or recreation. So um, that's being used for that. And then... The 50% used for recreation is for recreation needs caused by added development. So the expansion of memorial field facilities to accommodate added uses, users would be an example. Um, so I wanted to talk just about that because you know we're seeing um, residences go in in the downtown overlay district and we're seeing um, we have four major subdivisions on our planning board agenda for Thursday. And just know that all of these developers will be paying impact fees to the town for those purposes. So that's that. The second thing I want to talk about is how to be a good public participant um, in the process for the planning board because there are effective ways to participate and there are very ineffective ways to par participate. And um, the more effective you are, the more likely you'll be um, heard, taken seriously, and make changes. So the first thing is that our planning board actually allows two public comment sessions per meeting. That is not a requirement. We don't have to allow the public to speak at our meetings at all, but it is something that um, we haven't had any issues with it, so we allow it. We have one at the beginning, one at the end. Public comment is um, restic restricted to three minutes, and it is um, for anything under the purview of the Berwick Planning Board that is not an open application or open agenda item. So. If you want to come in and talk about the edge going in across the street, it's not happening. But if you want to come in and talk about, you know, how can I, get, get, I don't know, a general question, um, we're happy to, to have you come in and make a comment. The second um, way the public can participate is through the public hearing process. Sorry, it's a little hard to breathe with the mask on. <laughs> so, so I know we, we're all feeling it right now, <laughs> and I talk a lot. Um, so when we have a public hearing, uh, the no, the uh, the abutters are noticed, and so they know to come in, and then the public hearing is also noticed on the town website, so it's good to keep track of that. Not everybody in town is noticed for every public hearing. Um, you have about three to five minutes. We'll typically give more if you have something that you're very um, impassioned about to speak. And so what we do is I open up the public hearing. You can come up. You can state your um, concerns. You can ask questions. Um, I recommend that you write down what you want to say. People get nervous when they're talking in front of us and forget or stumble or stutter, um, and this will help everything be very succinct. Bring it up. We don't care if you read it. Um, do your research before coming up to a public hearing uh, to the podium. And what this means is watch the previous two meetings on that proposal because often people will come up and ask questions that were already answered the meeting before um, so you don't want to do that um, let's see most of uh, so after you come up and state what you have to say we close the public hearing so it's not a public dialogue it's not a back and forth with the um, with the developers we write down everything that you say we um, close the public hearing and then when we open up the application in the old business section the board the applicant and the planner discuss. 
Sometimes we'll ask the, the member of the public to come up for clarification, not always, because we just have to maintain order in the meeting and that um, when you diverge for, from one rule, you diverge from a million rules. Um, so th what we do with the public hearing, with the public comments, is generally we'll either, if something really good is brought up, we might send it back to the town attorney and ask for clarification. We might ask for clarification from a third party reviewer. Um, or we might simply use the comments to add conditions to a, an approval. So if you're in a butter and you're like, I'm concerned about looking in the window of this convenience store next door to me, we might say, here's a condition of your approval, build a, a three foot berm and have mature plantings on top of it. That would be a condition. So we do take everything um, seriously. We do take everything to heart and we want the public to participate. I just um, would love to give tips on how to do it effectively. Coming in front of the planning board and being upset or um, you know irate about you know something going in that we have no control over is not effective. We, we're not, we can't stop something from going in. We can simply add conditions to it. So that's all I have for this week. Have a great week.